Hey guys, I'm Nuisance, and uh, yeah, this is my welcome back to Ark, I guess. I, I haven't played in quite some time, we lived on the Quetzal for a while, but um, kind of got bored of the game and the duping was crazy and everybody had sort of everything, well, except me, obviously. Uh, so it was pretty hard to fight people. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to try to get back into it. Um, let me know what you guys want to see, but at the moment I'm thinking either solo series or a duo series. Um, so I just started here on the island. I had a little bit of my character. I guess we got a wipe. Um, I only just logged in. And I think I've done an okay build, but maybe I need more health. Um, I've just found all this, like, little crafting station. I don't really understand what they're doing here. Uh, especially North One, but this is usually where I spawn. I um, found this pistol full of uh, useful stuff. So definitely going to take all of this. Uh, what's this pistol have in it? No, all the other ones are empty then. <coughs> um. Yeah, so let me know what you guys want to see, really. It's, I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Um, probably just my usual thing. I'll go build a stone 2 by one uh, Get a Arthur Pleura, RG, PT, some cryopods, and then hide my loot and just build off from there. See how big I can get, or um, get a quid. So I don't know. I'm not really sure. Building big is kind of impossible. Solo, we can do it. Unless you have a lot of time which I do not so yeah we'll see what happens but uh, hopefully we get off to a good start all right guys so I found a super juicy raid uh, right off the bat um, where I think it's going to be I need to go tame an Arthur Pleura I think uh, from rag I might even do that before taming RG so usually I try to get a kit from someone or like just a basic kit which I pretty much already got um, all you really need is a bowler and a torch, and then I uh, head off to Rag, get a PT RG R3. You guys know how it goes if you've seen the previous ones. But um, with this, I might just try to tame an Arthur or whistle attack target, and then um, we might be able to get some tames. So it might, might, might speed up the process a little bit. They might not be, but it'll have loot in it regardless, so I'm not really stressed. So I'm just gonna go get an Arthur. Uh, hopefully, they're not spoiled meat. I'll just get a low level one, probably. And then we'll jump into it. Oh, actually, now that I think of it, I think I'm gonna need a uh, an RG regardless to carry the other. Well, in that, in that case, I might as well get a high level. So uh, yeah, I'll just go do that. Uh, I'll go get a high level R for PT RG. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm actually lagging really badly, so it's making things pretty hard. See, two or oh, max ping. My internet's been fried lately. Um. But I knocked out this Tyranidon, you know, possibly the lowest Tyranidon I've ever knocked out in terms of level. Um, I usually go for 145 or 130 plus um, sort of thing. But I'm going to go get a sheep, and, or actually I'm going to check Dodo Dex, check how long it's going to take to tame. Um, now I'm going to organize getting a set already, which is going to be hard in this lag. Uh, and then we can go over and get an RG and an Arthur, but... Yeah, it's gonna be a little while, probably, I'll probably be a couple of hours before I get to the RG team. Um, again, I'll probably just go for a low level RG, actually, I, th I didn't think of that, I could just go for a really low one. Um, just so that I can get the Arthur under this raid as soon as possible. Okay guys, so I kind of screwed it up, <coughs> excuse me, um, majorly my, um, I must have muted my mic at some point, and now all my clips are muted, or well, this half of them. And I uh, apologize for the previous clip where the, you could hear the buzzing sound. That's my charger plugged into the PlayStation, so uh, that's only like that for then, for that clip. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to have to voice over the rest of this and just tell you guys what's going on and uh, what happened. So uh, yeah, I hope you still enjoy, regardless. Okay, so basically at this point I uh, I got off or I'd got off Rag and I went to find this raid or went back to see if he was online and he'd just logged on uh, as I got there. <clears throat> so I, I just left and hid my stuff in the bushes for a little bit until uh, until I thought he was offline and then I uh, found the sheep randomly, but uh, that's irrelevant. I'm just letting you guys know what's going on. Um, uh, this is another little raid I just sort of like blew into. Um, I had some spark powder and 80 narcotics I think it was so that was very helpful for me 
and a little bit of middle so I ended up making a flat chest piece but uh, I'm just gonna cut the clip here and so this is when I thought he was offline um, so I, I came here and I got the Arthur and I whistled it onto it um, However, it was pretty hard without a saddle. I definitely recommend trying to get a saddle or maybe at least an high level eye thrower. It's just I thought this uh, was going to be a little bit easier, but it took ages. And I could hear a pill over here. I don't know if you guys know, but you can hear them like groaning in the ground. Um, so I just like poked around with my torch for a while and I actually managed to find it, um, which was huge. Because uh, I didn't have the parasol tamed at that time. <coughs> Although obviously I, I easily could have. Um, so I, I could still hear it and I was just like poking around and I was just getting closer to the sound and then uh, eventually I hit it and I saw the blood come up and then I, uh, I just left it and waited for it to come up and then killed it with my sword see here I hit it um, and then yeah the loot was uh, it was quite good so I'll just uh, let this roll So I was expecting a little bit of stuff, but um, looks like this guy was like trying to build a huge base. Like the amount of foundations and stuff he had, and a weight OG, um, and the set of gold tier flak. That's what I was most excited about. It's it's all like 800 plus dura, I think. Um, good amount of gunpowder, all that sort of stuff, and uh, yeah, huge profit. And I can I can grind all that uh, those foundations into lots of ingots. So that, that's all I'll use it for probably. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go making a big base, not not solo anyway. Um, so yeah, it was it was definitely huge profit for not even uh, wasting any explosives. So I, uh, I I put the flak on and then I go and uh, get back into the main base. So uh, this is the first bag I checked, and this is the fabricator. Uh, I was quite amazed at the amount of loot in here, especially the ingots and stuff, um, and all the charge batteries. I wasn't really sure what he was doing with those. Oh, I forgot to get that propellant out. Now that I think of it, um, but yeah, um, check the smithy as well. There's quite a bit of stuff in here. Heaps of metal. Just heaps of metal in the forges, and the uh, mortar and pistols ended up being stacked, uh, which, which you'll see soon. But I couldn't actually get all the loot out. Um, the guy came online, and I got most of the important stuff out. Everything I found, the Pelovia got out, and all that stuff. But um, yeah, I couldn't get all the gunpowder out that I saw on the pistols. Uh, yeah, you should see here. Crazy amount of gunpowder, but I, I didn't have the weight in the RG. The, the, the weight RG was already stacked. But it was definitely... Um, one of the best starts I've ever had in terms of loot, especially all the um, all the metal structures. So I was <laughs> I was really hoping this guy wasn't going to come back online. I was a little bit worried about it, so I was just trying to loot quickly, and he did actually come back online. Um, for some reason, my recording bugged, but he tried to bowl on me, and somehow I ate his bowl, and this is me flying away with the weight OG. Uh, so <laughs> I got super lucky that um, he didn't bowl on me. And yeah, I was just I decided to go um <coughs> go leave my low level RG on the ground in a cryopod and then skyboarder this RG so I could just hide all the loot in it and when the server population died down I would go uh get back on and then go get this RG and transfer servers. There's not really much point trying to do it when the servers pop so high. I think it was still like sixty eight or something. Um uh, 64 you can see there and yeah I was, I was real sh stressed about trying to transfer off so I decided just to skyboarder it and then uh, yeah leave it at that uh, that's gonna be it for this video guys um, and I apologize for not having my mic on next video will definitely be better and uh, yeah drop a like subscribe cheers